Welcome to Art with Miss Clary. Today we are going to learn about National Hispanic Heritage Month. National Hispanic Heritage Month is celebrating the United States, Canada, and Latin America. The celebration aims to celebrate the culture, achievements, and contributions of American citizens with Hispanic roots. The month-long events begins on September the 15th until October the 15th. The celebration goes with National Independence Days of several Central America countries, including Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Mexico, Chile, and Belize. Let's take a look at some Hispanic artists that inspire us all. Pablo Picasso. He was born and grew up in Spain. He was a child genius who first mastered classical art techniques before coming up with his own style of creating. Pablo Picasso and George Baroque together, they came up with the art style Cubism. In Cubism style, the subject is constructed using basic shapes such as squares, triangles, and circles. Pablo Picasso created over 50,000 artworks during his lifetime between paintings, sculptures, ceramics, drawings, and prints. Jean Miro was born in Barcelona, Spain, and he was a famous painter, sculptor, ceramics, and graphics artist. Influenced by Pablo Picasso, Miro developed more combined abstract art with surrealist fantasy. To help young artists, he established the Jean Miro Foundation and Center of Contemporary Art Studios in Barcelona. Salvador Dali. He was born and grew up and went to art school in Spain. He experimented with Cubism style of painting and visited Paris where he met Pablo Picasso. While in Paris, Dali joined a surrealist group of artists where he would create some of his most famous works of art. He used optical illusions and also became interested in math and science. He often used strange images in his paintings like melting clocks, elephants, eggs, ants, and snails. He created more than 1,500 paintings in his lifetime. Diego Rivera, born in Mexico, he was known for, his, for creating large murals or wall paintings. He created scenes from Mexico's history of culture, farming and industry, wars and politics. His paintings were brightly colored and seemed crowded with people and symbols. Diego earned a scholarship at the age of 10 to study art in Mexico City. He won another scholarship that allowed him to travel to Europe. He met and became friends with artist Pablo Picasso and became a successful Cubist painter. While there, he traveled to Italy where he was inspired by the murals of the Renaissance period. When Diego returned to Mexico, he wanted to paint the stories of the Mexican people on buildings where everyone could see. One of my favorite artists is Frida Kahlo. She was born in Coacan, Mexico, had three sisters, and lived in a blue house. When she was young, Frida wanted to become a doctor. However, her life was changed forever when she was in a bus accident. During her long recovery time, Frida discovered her love for painting. She mostly painted her portraits of herself, family, and friends. She painted with passion, bold, vibrant colors. She painted herself surrounded by things important to her. After her recovery, she met a group of mural artists that introduced her to Diego Rivera. He encouraged her to continue painting and they were later married. Frida painted with feelings and emotions using traditional Mexican colors and figures. Her art looks like surrealism, which means it comes from dreams. 
However, her paintings were her own reality. During her life, she had three art exhibitions in New York, Paris, and Mexico City. She painted 143 paintings and 55 were self-portraits. She is one of Mexico's greatest painters and widely known for her self-portraits. Adios, see you next time.